Red Devil fans, and welcome to Hawkinsville, Georgia. This is Bruce Beggs along with Neil Reed, and we'll be bringing you the state championship match between the Hawkinsville Red Devils and the Lincoln County Red Devils. Neil? Hey, Bruce. Uh, how you doing tonight? Big night for the Red Devils, the Lincoln County Red Devils. Uh, it's probably the first time this has ever happened in the world, Red Devils playing Red Devils for a state championship. Uh, very exciting night. Our captains tonight is going to be the entire senior class, it looks like, from this side of the field. We are located on the Hawkinsville side of the field. And, Neil, we can see all of those seniors standing there. We got Josh Beard representing us uh, in the center of the field with the official. The Red Devils have won the toss and deferred and will kick off to Hawkinsville. And, boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. And Neil, while our game gets underway, we do want to remind our viewers that our broadcast is made possible by the city and county governors of Lincoln County, the Lincoln County Chamber of Commerce and Development Authority, and with the special help and cooperation of the High School Technology Department. Okay, and we're just minutes from being underway here in this 2003 Class A championship final game. And the Red Devils uh, have... Uh, have really worked hard to get here. They've overcome a bunch of injuries. Actually, Coach Campbell is uh, probably one of the sickest he people a, here tonight. Right, he's a casualty himself. He's uh, very sick, we understand, tonight, but he is here. All right, and the Red Devils are now getting lined up to come through the tunnel. I can't see what our board says, uh, but here come the Red Devils. Hawkinsville team's already come onto the sideline and with very little hoopla uh, coming up to this game, they were extremely confident, made a lot of uh, one-sided comments, especially in the Macon Telegraph. I pulled it up on the internet uh, last night, and, or it might have been this morning, and, uh, and saw what they had to say. And, and according to them, they say they're unstoppable. So we'll see, Bruce. We will see. And Neil, I want you to look at this unstoppable crowd of fans that we brought here with us tonight. Yeah, we have a crowd, no the, doubt. Uh, Numbers of buses. We can see all these buses lined up and we can see the stands overflowing and fans just standing I don't know how many deep, but there are lots and lots, hundreds and hundreds of Red Devil fans. Lincoln County High School Red Devil fans, I should add, here tonight. Okay, I have been corrected already, Bruce, by our wonderful uh, cameraman, Gross Bentley. We played the Bowden Red Devils for the state championship Way back in the day, as Austin Rhodes would say. Way back in the day. Way back in the day. So this is not the first time, this is the second time. It's probably the first time we played against a, a state championship against a Coach Campbell, though. It, absolutely right. This is the only time that I know of that we've played Hawkinsville. So, uh, so here we go. And it is, uh, the, the chant of the night is, here we go, Devils, here we go. So both sides will be saying that, I guess, tonight. And Neil Hawkinsville comes into this game after defeating uh, Clinch County, who we lost to last year at the Dome. Not We didn't lose at the Dome, but they, they uh, beat them at the Dome. Okay, uh, Hawkinsville's going to have uh, back uh, Marshall, number five, number 42, Charles Johnson. Charles Johnson is a uh, senior who is already committed to go to the University of Georgia. So he'll be somebody we have to watch for tonight. And it's just about here, folks. Old Josh Beard's teed the ball up. Red Devils, uh, as you can see tonight, are in white jerseys and red pants. In addition, uh, something that I know a Red Devil team has never had before. All the players have their names on the back of their jerseys, so maybe that's just the spirit they need. And here we go, folks. Big Josh is putting the boot into it. It's a high and a very short kick. It comes down at the 26 and rolls. Number 42 takes the ball and he breaks through. Uh, gets through a little hole, gets back up to about the 39 and a half. So Hawkinsville will have the ball uh, near the 40 yard line. And our Red Devil defense is on the field. And boy, I bet the butterflies are big as headlights. Uh, you just talking about in mind, you're stone. <laughs> I know they are in my stomach. All right, wide outs to both sides. I backfield behind the quarterback, Coley. 
Hand off to number five, Marshall, and he breaks loose for about a six, seven, eight yard gain. It's gonna be second down and about two from the 46 yard line. And they just came right straight at us that time off their left side of their line. And number 58, Jarris Wynn on the, in on that stop, Neil. And back, he's gonna throw the ball and he gets it up and out of, out of bounds throw incomplete. It'll be third down now and two. And biggest play of the ball game is coming up. The biggest play so far in the The biggest there. play so far. Bruce, we thought we were gonna have to be outside tonight and we yeah, got a little surprise, we're, we're inside. That's right, we, uh, we told them we knew gross and they let us right on in. They, yeah, they let us right in. All right, they got uh, wide outs to the right, our backfield behind Coley. Long snap count, pitch to number five on the left side, and he is stopped. He is stopped short of the first down, so the Red Devils have held him. It's going to be fourth down and at least two. So great uh, first defensive stand for the Red Devils. And Neil, uh, I couldn't see who all was in on that stop, but it looked like number 10. Uh, Andrews, as well as number 12, Tavar Stokes. Okay, and back to receive the kick is number 12, Stokes. He'll be back at about the 24, 25 yard line. And a high, high snap, in the, and he gets it off. The kick goes up and it's gonna go out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. So the Red Devils of Lincoln County will now have it first and 10 on the 25 yard line. Boy, what a, what a. Exciting start. Exciting start. And that, you know, one more foot, that ball could have been over his head and that would have been great. Okay, the Red Devils driven by the quarterback Clark. Now on the field. Timeout, the officials called a timeout. And it looks like they're having a conference with the Red Devils. Now, boy, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. That's our momentum they're stopping. We don't like that one bit. Do we like it, Bruce? We don't like that. We bit. don't like it. We don't know what it's about. Those right guys now. must be from Hawkinsville or something. Don't understand that. All right, anyway, they have delayed us about 25 seconds. The Red Devils are out here. They got a guy wide out here to the left. Excuse me, the right. And handoff to Searles, who goes off the left side for about four yards. Almost broke it loose. It's going to be second down. And six. And Neil, do you know what that official conference was about there? I have no idea, but I know I don't like it. All right, Red Devils now got Brown out to the left. It's like. And hand to Searles, and he goes around the right side. He gets outside and is brought down about the 28 yard line. Or it looks like what's going to be a no game. Be third down and about six. And Neil, we've heard coming into this game about the uh, about this Hawkinsville defense, and uh, we know that that's one of our strong points as well. And so this may turn into a defensive game. It very well may be. Clark uh, has not put the ball in the air yet. Uh, might see it this time. Might see that fake inside to. Octavius and Clark bootleg around the left-hand side, Bruce. That's what I'm guessing you're gonna see right here. And that's exactly what happens, and Clark had a little room and ran right into uh, number 12 for Hawkinsville. So it's gonna bring up a third down, a fourth down, and about three. Yep. 
All righty. Clark back to punt. Snap. Clark will kick it. It's a pretty good kick. It's going to go off to the 40-yard line. It's like a, red, a Lincoln County roll down to about the 37. So the Hawkinsville Red Devils will have it. First and 10 on the 37. And Neil, they have a loud stadium announcement. They, ha you know, it reminds me of Clinch County. <laughs> Except we had to sit next to him. <laughs> we had with Bruce Turner and me were down there that night. And, and y'all were smoking cigarettes. The, the, this too. guy sitting next to us had brought a carton and he was going to try to smoke them all, Bruce said. All right, hand off to number five. He goes off the right side for maybe a yard or a yard and a half. He's brought down. Looks like, uh, let's see. Looks like copping in on the tackle as well as a few other Red Devils. It'll be second down and about eight. Okay, wide to the left. And off to that number five, and he finds a little bit of a hole, but only gets about five yards. It's going to bring up third down and about two. Looks like Drum Long and some other Red Devil defenders in on that stop, Neil. All right, big play again. Third and about three. They got one wide out to the left here. Stokes coming out to cover him. One out to the right. They're going to pitch it to number five as the flag down. And he scoots in there for, and he's down for no gain. Hope the flag's against them. If it is, we're going to take the play and make it fourth down, I would guess. Actually, a loss on the play of about a yard. And it's against the Hawkinsville Red Devils. And it is declined, so it's going to be fourth down and about four. So, neither team so far has had a first down. Stokes is going to be back again probably somewhere around his 30-yard line. 25, actually. Maybe we'll get another high snap. We didn't. And kick goes up and out of bounds again. And it looks like it's going to be somewhere around the 30, 32-yard line. 31-yard line. Red Devils have progressively gotten better field position. The Lincoln County Red Devils. That's but we have a little tough time with that on the other night. You you try still trying to get 25 and 27 straight. I have them. Yeah, we have two Red Devil teams. I got them under control. I'm just ready to call them. Well, All right, we're gonna have Kreit to the chance. right and Brown to the left. Andrews in the backfield along with Beard behind Clark. Clark hands off to Andrews. He goes up the middle with a block and close, very close to a Red Devil first down. It depends on where they put it down. Looks to be... First down, Red Devils. The 40. One yard line. So now we have the first first down of the game, Neil. All right, Clark hands off. He, oh, he keeps, keeps the, the ball, ball and he goes around the left side. He's got some running room this time and gets uh, almost 10 yards again. We'll see where they mark it. Maybe another Red Devil first down. And guys, they said we couldn't get outside on them, but we done it, hadn't we, Gross? We'll take 10 yards. Uh, 
And we're waiting for a measurement. I see Coppin. It is his first down. I see Coppin standing with Coach Campbell on the far sideline. Okay, we have now, we've got Coppin in the game. Clark shaking up, obviously, on that last play. And, boy, we don't need that. I mean, we got Coppin's great, don't get me wrong, but we sure need uh, Travis in this ball game. And he hands off to Andrews, and Andrews fights for about three yards. So it'll be second and about seven. Coppin remains the quarterback. Second down and about seven. Coppin keeps the ball and turns it up for no gain. All right, I see Clark stirring on the sideline again over there, so. Hopefully he was just shaking up a bit and he'll be right back. Coming back into the game. That's a tough young man. He is, and he has uh, performed well all season long, as Coppin has, as you said. Didn't mean any disrespect whatsoever to Cordero. Well, I mean, no, uh, we, and we, we've said over and over again that we're lucky to have both of these young men that we can move them in and out when we need them. All righty, we've got Octavius Lone back behind Clark. He's back to throw this time, and he has a man. And it is intercepted on the 15-yard line. So the Hawkinsville will take over on the 15. He was double covered down that sideline and looked like they roughed up Chris. Uh, I guess it was Chris or Steven. I think it was like Steven Brown. They roughed them up a little bit headed down the sideline, but I guess they... I guess they ruled that uh, it was incidental. All right, from the 15-yard line, Hawkinsville, they got wide outs to the left. They hand off to the number five up the middle. He doesn't go anywhere. He is stopped he for stopped by a host of Red Devils. No gain. Looks like big Alex Wideman in there on that tackle. Second down and... Just as many, Bruce. Just as many. They may give them a yard. Okay, they've given them a yard. Second down and a long, long eight. Nearly nine. All right, Hawkinsville's going to split them out to the left. You're going to hand off to that number five again. He had a little hole and he made a cut. And he's finally, finally brought down after first down yardage. Brought down by Stephen Brown. Big Alex Weidman looked like in on that helping. And Mickens. Mickens. So Hawkinsville's first, first down of the game. Got wide outs to both sides. The eye backfield behind Coley. It's going to be handed off to that number five again. He's got a hole, and he goes in there for about three yards, and then he stopped. Hit by number 27, and uh, looks like uh, Wynn, and, right, along with Cummins. Looks like Andrews getting up off the ground, too, out of that pile. So it's going to be second down and about six. Three thirty-eight to go in the first quarter. Hawkinsville hands off to number five again, and guess who? Big Josh Beard. Tackle for about a five, six, seven maybe yard loss. It's gonna bring up third down and really long, guys. Yeah. 
He was just in there on him, Neil. He was in there on him. All right, wide outs to both sides. The tailback number five. It looks like you're going to try to throw the ball. We got Chris Norman in, and it is, boy, oh, boy. We are very lucky, folks. That was interference, I thought. Because I'm not supposed to say that. But that was pass interference. I, I don't believe it was interference. I believe it was incidental, Neil. It was incidental. <laughs> Gross was that pass interference. Gross said it wasn't, so I'm so wrong. It, you, you've been overruled. <laughs> I was overruled. <laughs> but it, I'm glad I didn't have a flag and was supposed to throw it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. Fourth down and forever. 12, 11, 12 yards. Red Devils should get the ball in good place. Yeah! And it is blocked. And Red Devils are going to have the ball on the 16-yard line, folks. And this might be it. This might be when we get our first score. I don't know who was in there to block that ball. Well, Neil, I know I was supposed to be telling you, but... I <laughs> I know you, the cameraman. I was just, I, I was just, uh, I was just excited about the blocking. All righty, we're gonna have Brown out here to the right. We're gonna be Clark on a shotgun. Uh, excuse me, under center, and uh, and it's a fumble, and it is covered by Cummings. Uh, boy, he was hit just as Mickens handed the ball off to him. And boy, that backed us up 10 yards. That was not good. That was not good. No, we didn't like that, Neil. We didn't like that at all. Okay, let's see what we got going now. We're gonna have right out to the right. Excuse me, Kreit to the left, Brown to the right. Cummins and a... Clark's back to throw, he's got time, he's scrambling now. And gets the ball away. And Big Johnson was on top of him, looked kind of slow getting up, like he was driving him just a little bit. Third down now at about 20. Got Stokes out to the left, right to the right. Clark back, he's gonna try to throw. He's got time, he's throwing long, and it is overthrown into the end zone. And we have a flag on the play, hoping it's gonna be roughing. Hopefully it'll be roughing, I don't know if you caught that on the film. It looked like it was, uh, looks like that what it could be, Neil. That'll be an automatic first down if it is. And the officials. Personal foul roughing the passer against Hawkinsville. Illegal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Had an illegal man downfield. So they're offsetting. We're going to play it again. All right, Red Devils lined up and ready to go again. They got Cummins and Brown to the right, right to the left. Timeout. Red Devils. He called timeout. He just called timeout. He just called timeout. Nobody is going to what do you think, Bruce? Neil? I uh, thought we were 
okay until they offset the penalty. <laughs> we thought we were in the driver's seat. No, just been drunk on a fly for the touchdown. All right, we're listening to Coach Matthews here, and I'm glad uh, I'm glad Hawkinsville doesn't have a direct line here. He's saying send drum long on a fly, and it'll be a touchdown. So we're going to find out. I think they're going to run a fly to the tight end. What I believe think? they will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will defer to Coach Matthews. He, uh... All righty, we're going to find out. Clark's in the shotgun this time. Octavia's standing beside him. we got wide outs to both sides. The drums are tight in. We'll see what happens. He's got some time. He's got some time. He's slinging it in there, and it is tipped and incomplete. All right, we got to make 21 yards on this play or a touchdown. Fourth down. We have lost 10 yards on this possession so far. All right, we got twins to the right. Clark on the center this time. He hands off to Octavius right up the middle, and Octavius goes in there for about eight yards. And, man, I don't know about that. Hawkinsville ball inside the 20. So this first quarter just about over. Minute 21 seconds and no score. So all those people who were wondering if we could play with these guys, I guess we found out we can. Hand off to number five, and he twists and turns there for about two or maybe three. Be second down in about seven. Twins to the right. Back to throw, back to throw, and he's rolling and rolling. He's got that number 10 for a first down. First down on the 37-yard line for Hawkinsville. I think that's their second first down of the game. I, think, I believe you're correct there. Well, maybe their third. And off to number five, and he comes through for about four or five yards. Going to be second down and about six. And that's the end of the first quarter. With the score, Red Devils zero, Red Devils zero. Well, Neil, I can't get the scoreboard in my viewfinder here, so we'll take your word for it. Neil, did you have a good drive down here? Yeah, we did. Had a nice drive down, no problems. Came down through Applin and Harlem and Wrens and Louisville. And down that way. A lot of people went the other way, I think, through Warrington, Milledgeville, and Macon. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, second down and six, seven to go. And back to throw the ball again. And he is being rushed and rolled, and he is, we are just missing tackles left and right. Finally, he's brought down by Mickens and, and Long. Ball. Just missing tackles left and right. Come on, guys. Third down and about two. Well, we had an opportunity to really get them that time. More than once. More, many more times than once. Third down and about two. Motion, motion. Hand off to number five. He is not gonna get it, guys. He is down. He brought down by Cord Cordell Coppin and Josh Beard. It's going to be short. It's going to be fourth down, and we'll see what they're going to do. <laughs> little, little trouble down there. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a high snap. Now he's low this time and rolls back there to him. And boy, oh boy, it's going to be a rolling kick if it hits, and it takes off rolling and rolling and rolling down inside the 15-yard line. Man. I don't recall if they had this kind of trouble with the punting game at the Dome, uh, but uh, they've had two high and one low so far. All right, maybe we'll see the Lincoln County Red Devils open this thing up a little bit. This time we have got 85 plus yards to make. And maybe we'll see them go to Old Drum a little bit. And handoff to number two. Jennings, he loses five yards. That's the first play Jennings has been in the game, I think. I, I believe it is, Neil. For those of y'all who don't know, uh, Jennings has been uh, on the injured list. He's had, he's had a thigh problem. Lost four, four yards, four or five yards on that play. And I think he's only attended one practice since he's been able to come back. So he's got to be at some disadvantage. And he is out. Cried in. Mickens in. All right, they need to hurry up a little bit here. They've been slow in getting this playoff. <coughs> Clark back to throw. And he has overthrown Stephen Brown. Stephen Brown. So it's third down and extremely long, 15 or so. <laughs> and it's just taking them forever, forever. We need a 15 yard gain right here. This may be when you see Long. He is out in a wide position. Trips. 
And Crank gets the ball in. Game cut, breaks loose. And is very, very close to a first down. Looks to me like he's got it. Looks to me like he's got it, depending on how they mark it. Fourth down. Fourth down. I believe they ought to measure this because it looks like to me they got it. Yeah, they're going to measure. Believe we got it. First pass completion, I believe, unless I've missed something yeah. by Clark. They're doing the same thing. They're trying to the out. And short chain, please. <laughs> and it is just inches. Just inches short there. And what do we do? We don't want to give it away right here. We don't want to give it away right here. They're going to put that big number 10 right over the center, I know. No, big number 70 right over the center. And he made it. He has got enough for the first down. Woo! Boy, what a gutsy play. What a gutsy but play. he made it, and we like it. And we like it. And we like it. Man. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is really wanting to win a ball game there now. Lining it up and knocking them dead with it. First down on the 26, and we are out of the hole. And handoff to Jenny, or excuse me, Andrews, and he goes up there for about three. It'll be second down and about a seven yards. Okay, big Josh Beard out. I didn't see who came in to replace him. I see Jennings in the game. Uh, Brown and Crank wide outs. Jennings and Andrews behind Clark. Pitch to Jennings. He goes off the right side. And what a block. Andrews nailed somebody, but he still did not get off his block. Maybe a yard, maybe two. Going to be third down and fairly long. All righty, important, important big down right here, third and six. Twins to the right, Brown to the left by itself. Shotgun formation, Clark is back. Looks like maybe a screen pass and he's gonna get it away. And boy, we have, we have a flag on the far side. I see Coach Campbell going wild over there. I don't know what it's all about, but we'll see. Hopefully it was holding. Hopefully that defensive back had a hold of our receiver and was holding. We'll see. Face mask against Hawkinsville. Big. Hopefully it was a big one. Let's see. They did not call it a personal foul, so it'll probably be a five yarder. One, two, three, four, five, incidental. It's gonna be third down and less than a yard. Third and less than a yard. Another big play for the Red Devils. And Clark again, he keeps it and he gets out there long enough and far enough for the first down. They're marking it. 
at about the 38 or 37 and a half, which should be enough. First down. Six minutes and 52 seconds to go in this half. Wide out to the right, I formation behind Clark. He's gonna hand off to Andrews, he's gonna keep the ball. Clark is, he's got some running room, and he's across the 50 to about the 48 yard line and a first down for the Red Devils of Lincoln County. And this is the first time we have driven the ball across the 50 yard line, we've had it inside the 50, we've had it inside the 16. But this is the first time we drove it down there. And we like it. And we like it, we like it a lot. We got a split out to the right, high backfield behind Clark. He's gonna hand off to number 25, Mickens. And he rolls and rumbles down to the 30. Another Red Devil first down, Lincoln County. And I'm pacing now, Bruce. You pacing? I'm yeah, pacing. I would pace a little bit. <laughs> we don't have a porch to stand on when we're here <laughs> in Hawkinsville. <laughs> but I'm pacing. Are you not doing anything like the pacing you were doing at the dome, man? <laughs> yeah, I was pacing big time at the dome. All right, time out. It is amazing the number of people we have brought here tonight, Bruce. Are you it is. That? I am looking out now, Neil, and it is a tremendous crowd. You know, they, uh, the, the website said uh, they were expecting somewhere around 8,000. I don't know if it's that many here or not. I would, wouldn't be surprised we if it were a few more than that. We can't see what's on can't see the Hawkinsville side. But looking down from here, it's a full house on this side as well. All right, and after that timeout, the Red Devils of both sides are back. Going to be first down at the 30, the ball squarely on the 30, Bruce. Squarely. Squarely. We got wide out to the left in Brown. We got our backfield behind Clark. Hand off to Andrews up the middle for about two. It'll be second down. Second down on about eight. And I think I like it. Second down and closer to seven. That was near a third, three yard gain that time. That Brown out to the left. Beard and Mickens in the backfield. And off to Mickens. He goes off the right side and there's a flag. Might have been motion. They blew it dead before we got going. And the Red Devils are clapping, so maybe it was somebody that got over the line. Offsides on Hawkinsville. And we like it. Yes, we do. So it'll be second down now in short. About two. Clark coming back into the huddle after receiving instructions from Coach Campbell. Second and three. Jennings in the backfield with Mickens. Josh Beard lined up on a flanker. I think that's what you call that. Hand off to Jennings and in there first down inside the 20 to about the 16 yard line. 
And we have driven this ball all the way from our own 15 to inside theirs. Keep it there. Mark that left side, 26 guys, keep it. We still got Jennings and Mickens in the backfield. We got Brown out to the right. Clark on the center. Beard off on this side over here. Hand off again to Jennings and maybe a yard. Maybe a yard. And off to Jen, keeper by Clark, and he is he is upended by that big number 10 for a loss. A loss of about three on the play. Third down now and about 12. And Neil Clark has taken some pretty good hits in this ball game so far, but he seems to come right back. Yeah, he took a pretty good shake that time. Third down now, we need about 12 yards for a first down. Clark, he's gonna throw it, he's gonna throw it, and he is brought down by Johnson. He comes in off of the left side of the line. That backs us back up to the 25 yard line. Timeout called by the Red Devils. Boy, oh boy, we keep getting down here and can't get that ball punched in. We keep knocking on the door, man. Three minutes, 32 seconds to go in the half, and boy, we need one before the half. I'm sure y'all can hear we're in the booth you know, with uh, with the Red Devil coaches, and they are like shouting suggestions do. down over their headset. Fourth down, fourth down and about 20, 18 to 20. And Clark is gonna handle the ball from the shotgun this time, looks like. We got Chris out, Chris Norman out to the left along with Stephen Brown. He's gonna back to throw the ball and he's got a man and it is broken up, almost intercepted. Wished it had been intercepted since it was broken up. Uh, the They would have had the ball inside the 10. So now they'll have it on the 25. So we have turned the ball over to him again on downs. What a defensive ball game, Bruce. It, <laughs> I well, mean, it, I mean uh, everybody said this was going to be a defensive ball game, and it really has been so far. And as far as the yardage is concerned, I believe the Red Devils may have a little bit of an advantage. And Drum Long stops that number five and stands him up. And flag down. I don't know what that's all about. May have been a fumble in the crowd. They were going for the fumble. But I bet you they're going to call us for late hit. Probably late hit. I thought it was scrambling for the ball. He jumped down on the side. I don't know where he got. Drum had his hands around his face mask. And I thought he grabbed the back of his helmet. Yeah, flag over there. Face mask yeah. against the Red Devils. That did not call it a personal foul, so that'll be a five yarder. It's going to be a five-yarder. Three minutes, 17 seconds to go in the half. Uh, yeah. 
Timeout. Official timeout. Oh, they're marking it off again against us. They're going to take a full five yards. I, I, I don't know what that's about. Well, what happened? happened. They, they marked it off from the point of the foul when actually it was supposed to be from the line of scrimmage, I guess. All right, back to throw. He throws the ball up to that number seven. He caught it. Steven and brings him down inside the, or just short of the 40 yard line for a first down. Clock's inside three minutes, and two minutes and 59 seconds to go in the half. Quarterback back to throw. He's being rushed by Cordero. Holding. Why didn't they call holding? I mean, the guy had cord by the arm, and they didn't call it. Wow. He had him by the arm, and they didn't call it. And they didn't call it, Neil. I don't know why they couldn't see it like we did. Well, he's a whole lot closer than we are. Second down and 10. First down and 10. No, 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 it's gonna be second down. Should be second down, they got first down on the marker. Now it's second down and 12. Coley from the shotgun. Back, he's intending to throw the ball, he zings it out to that number seven. Breaks the first tackle and is brought up down at the 50 yard line by Andrews. 2.39 to go. At number seven is Lawson. just inside the Lincoln County territory. First down, blitz by the Red Devils and they are back and he is brought down by number 44, drum long for a loss of about five. So that blitz worked to perfection that time. Loss of about six. Looks like that kind of messed them up, Bruce, when they brought the linebackers. They didn't, look like it, they didn't block anybody. So second and about 16. Shotgun still, wide out to both sides. Quarterback, he's back to throw, he's looking. He's being pressured a little and he gets the ball off to number 21 right now, in the middle of the field. And he's tackled on the five. Wow. All right, we got about two minutes. Minute, 44 seconds to hold them. Well, you wiping sweat now. Uh, I'm wiping something. <laughs> Ball's inside the five of the near the four. First and goal, wide to the left, back on the center again. Hand off to number five, he breaks it right up the middle for a touchdown. So Hawkinsville will draw first blood with a minute and 32 seconds to go in the half. And we'll see if they go for a one point or two, their uh, extra point. 
kicker who wasn't very impressive last week in the Dome, so we'll see what happens. And they're gonna shift, and a flag comes in. Maybe they'll back them up. I don't know what the deal is. Fixing to find out though. Illegal motion or shift or something or another by Hawkinsville is gonna back them up. And that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be now eight yards for the point. Timeout. And they'll take a timeout, Neil. Okay, minute, 32 seconds to go in the half. Lincoln County trailing, six to zero. And they'll line up in an extra point formation again and they shift again. And what kind of junk is this? And he throws the ball and it is overthrown. And wow, I have never seen anything like that before. <laughs> but the result was a favorable one for the Lincoln County Red Devils. Okay, minute 32 to go. Six to nothing, Hawkinsville. We'll see what we got in our bag of tricks. It would be a wonderful thing for us to get a score here before halftime. Don't really think they've got a kicker that can really kick the ball deep. At least they haven't shown that so far, I don't think. All right, we got Stokes and, and Brown back. Stokes will get it on the 10, and he's coming around the left side. Got a little bit of room, and he breaks it out to about the 27 or 28. Minute, 27 seconds to go, and that's just about the amount of time we needed last week in the Dome, folks. So we'll see if if Travis and, the, and company can work their magic here before halftime. We have twins to the right, Brown, excuse me, uh, Crite and Mickens. Excuse me, Cummins. Brown to the left from the shotgun, low snap. And Clark picks it up, he scrambles to his right and throws the ball high and out and it is intercepted. And boy, we did not need that. Hawkinsville will have first down inside the 30 at about the 29.
And man, oh man, we need to stop this right here. From the shotgun. He's got time and he throws out there and throws a little bit wide, intended for number 21. Second down in 10. Minute 10 seconds. From the gun again, wide outs to both sides. Quarterback back, looking, looking, being pressured, being pressured, brought down, brought down back outside the 40 and around the 40. They're gonna mark it on the 40. Andrews, drum long, Jarius Wynn, and Beard. They've got a player injured and down. Can't get a number yet. Fifty five point nine seconds to left to go in this first half. Timeout called by Hawkinsville, or they will be charging them a timeout for injury. And that is one of their linemen, looks like number 61. It's like a left, a right leg injury. All right, from the 40 yard line, it's gonna be third down at about 21 for a first down. Like our backers are playing a little bit deep. Trips to the right, quarterback back to throw. He's being rushed and ball goes up downfield and it is caught. Ball's going to be on about the two. 49 seconds. Wishbone. And off to five. He's hitting the backfield and he's spun around for no gain. And everybody on the Hawkinsville side hollering time. Nobody sees them. Nobody sees them. Now they, not sure they still have seen them. 22 seconds. They don't have any timeouts. One of the coaches is yelling they don't have any timeouts. Do they have a timeout or not? The scoreboard doesn't show timeouts. Boy, if they don't have a timeout, this. What in the world is going on? Now this is working for them, folks. Uh, 
I'm not trying to be quiet. I just don't know what's going on, Bruce. Do you? I'm, I'm, I think they're trying to decide. They're, they're resetting the clock. They're resetting the clock. The clock's counting 42, 41, 40. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All right, they're stopping the clock with 22 seconds. 21.1, 20.7 seconds is what they put back on the clock. Oh boy. Well, Neil, just when you think you've seen everything. You know, these officials are supposed to be the best. Okay, folks, we still don't know what's going on. And number 61 from Hawkinsville being loaded into the ambulance. Okay, and now they're marking off five yards against Hawkinsville. Delay of game. What in the world? What in the world? I don't understand this. Do I, you, Bruce? I don't understand it at all, Neil. I, <laughs> Do you, Gross? <laughs> Gross don't understand it. If Gross doesn't it's understand beyond it, all of it's us. beyond us all. That's true. All righty. We have 30. Well, now they're running the clock again. 34, 33, 32, 31. <laughs> This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. All right, 7, 16, 15, 14. What are they doing? Okay, 11.6 seconds. They have stopped the clock. So obviously. I want you to find out from Johnny Walton at halftime what's going what on. What in the world is going on? If anybody can tell us, johnnywalton.com can. <laughs> All righty. Here they are, first down, or second down. Timeout Red Devils. So we let them line up, see what they were going to shoot at us, I guess, and call timeout. So that will give them time to change and us time to prepare. So we'll see. Neil, we have we have seen some things we've never seen before. <sighs> well, Neil, I wish I had a bunch of things to tell you about going on in our community while we oh, have this I know time one. Out. I know one. Santa Claus is coming. coming to town. He's going to come next Wednesday night. Santa Claus has been here. He was at the band concert was it? Monday night. He sure I was. did not see him. Well, you must have not been a good well, boy. I, I dropped Tom invited. off, and uh, I didn't stay. I'll be honest. I didn't stay. Well, you missed a treat. They they did a fine job. And Santa Claus even stopped in and said hello. All right. Biggest play of the ball game right now. We've got 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Right now we do. Subject to change. And they spread out here to the right. 
Looks like he, and then something is still amiss. What are we doing? Are they running the clock some more growth? They're not running the clock. I, I think it's a smoke break. <laughs> it must be. <laughs> well, folks, this 23 seconds has lasted about nine minutes so far. And I think they're polling the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're using a lifeline. <laughs> yeah, using a lifeline here. All right, for the fifth time, for the fifth time. Coach Campbell's throwing his hands up. He doesn't know what's going on. All right, a big play, big play right here. They got him wide out to the right. Quarterback under center. He's back, he's rolling to the right, and he's looking to throw. He throws it up and high and over the throne. It was intended for number 23. We got about 2.8 seconds left. And I don't think, well, they don't need a timeout. The clock stopped on the incompletion. So it'll be third down and goal. And boy, if we can hold on to this. Old Mo might be rolling us our side. But if they've got a play in their book to they, score they, a touchdown with two seconds, you better believe they're, they're fixing to run. Out now. And now that looked to me like uh, an illegal uh, huddle. Broke the huddle with too many people. Throw the flag, guys. Come on. All right, he's back. He's rolling again. He's going to throw in. Oh. Thought they had broke the huddle with too many people. They had a guy coming onto the field and one leaving the field uh, after the huddle. I didn't think they could do that. Obviously, they can. They, uh, they operating under some rules that we hadn't seen before down here now. Well, this, is, this has been drawn out. They got that widespread junk again. I don't know what's going on. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful snap and missed. Oh, Lordy. I'm glad this half is over, folks. 12 nothing Hawkinsville. We'll see you in the second half. All right, welcome back, folks. This is Bruce Beggs along with Neil Reed bringing you the second half of this ball game between the Lincoln County Red Devils and the Hawkinsville Red Devils. Bruce, we're fixing to get the ball, start the third quarter, and plans are to score a touchdown with this drive. I'll give you some stats. It was offsides on the kicking team, but they're not going to call it. All right, we got Mickens with the ball. He comes around the left side. He's got a little hole, and he stumbles forward to the 46. Good, great, great run back by Mickens. Good job by Mickens. All right, some stats for the first half. Lincoln County had seven first downs. Hawkinsville had five. We ran the ball 21 times for 66 yards. They ran the ball 18 times for 38 yards. Sounds pretty good so far, Bruce. It does sound good. All right, passing. We attempted seven passes, only completed, completed one pass for 13 yards and had two interceptions. They attempted 10, completed six for 134 yards, and that's the difference right there in the ball game. So Red Devils back on offense. Timeout called by the Red Devils. And something may right. Something hadn't been right, Neil. Neil, as you were saying before the half, they hadn't run all over us. I mean, no, no, they haven't. Hadn't been for two long passes and that uh, interception where they returned it way back down inside the 40 on us and then got the pass down to the one yard line. Uh, other than that, uh, it's been a pretty even ball game. Uh, the officials did boo-boo in the first half. Uh, we were all confused. I don't really know how to explain it, so I'm not even going to try. But they did boo-boo. 
All right, the Red Devils now have things worked out. Got Brown wide, wide out to the right. High backfield behind Clark. He hands it off to Jennings. Jennings comes off the left side for about four yards. Three. It'll be second and six to 49 of Lincoln County. Mickens and Brown into the game. Jennings out. Mickens will line up, tailback behind Andrews. Brown out wide to the right, Clark on the center. Hand off to Andrews, keep, keep by Clark and he really gets nowhere. It's gonna be third down, he may have lost a yard, a foot. That's been a play that has been a big producer for us throughout the year, but they were dead on him that time. Third and seven, long seven. Beard and long out. Cummings. And another timeout by the Red Devils, and man, oh man. Quickly, the Red Devils have used two timeouts in less than two minutes. And it still seems like some confusion. Clark in the shotgun formation. Gonna throw. Oh, Flag on the play against Hawkinsville. Get and that'll help. It's going to be third and three inside Hawkinsville territory. Clark in the shotgun. Got Long back to help block. Thrown and incomplete. So fourth down in three. Good rolling kick looks like. It's gonna roll down and it's gonna be taken by number eight inside the 15 and he brings it back out to about the 26 yard line. A low, sort of a line drive punt. And looked like we were gonna get a good roll out of it but he picked it up and brought it back on us. So it'll be first down at the 26. And uh, number 79, Deontay Norman, I believe in on that stop. And Look like uh, Casey. Uh, I'm sorry, CJ. 
Uh, yeah, CJ, I'm, I'm looking at my... Hadn't got my glasses on there. Ah, uh, that's dangerous. All right, handing off up the middle to number five, and he goes there for about four. It'll bring up second and six. They have wide outs to both sides. Quarterback under center. He's going to throw it again and in and out of the hands of number 12. So it'll be third down and about six. Quarterback back to throw, he's looking. He gets the ball up and in and out of the hands of 21. So it'll be fourth down and six. And the Red Devil defense is preventing them from getting the first down here in the early moments of this second half. High snap, kick is up, it's going to come down, it's out of bounds, it's going to be in Hawkinsville territory. And we'll have the ball inside Hawkinsville territory at about the 40, 41 yard line. Great field position. And what do you expect to see on this play, Neil? I don't know, Bruce. I hope I, uh, <laughs> I hope I see uh, Stephen down the sideline and catch a pass for about a 42-yard touchdown, but we'll see. He hands off to Octavius and uh, stumbles, and Octavius is fighting, fighting maybe a couple of yards out of that. So it'll be second down and about eight. Eight minutes and 44 seconds in the third quarter. Got Brown out to the left, Andrews and Mickens, I believe in the backfield. Hand off to Mickens, he goes out for about uh, two, maybe a two and a half so yard gain. Be a third down play upcoming. So it'll be third and six. Fumble, penalty on the play. And let's see what this deal is. It's been hard to tell with these officials, Neil. <laughs> and Alex Weidman gives a no flag. Okay, so once again, we've shot ourselves in the foot. We've given them the ball back near midfield.
Shotgun formation, quarterback keep. He goes around the left side and he's brought down for a loss on the play by Alex Weidman and Beard. And a flag on the play after the play. And I hope it's not what I think it is, but I believe it's unsportsmanlike conduct on the Red Devils, on the Lincoln County Red Devils. Against the Red Devils. So that'll be first down, Hawkinsville inside the 50. First and 10. First down. Shotgun formation. And off to number five, and he goes in and he's hit by Andrews. And how did he slip through that? That was the second man through five, didn't have the ball. Officials time out for a measurement. Looks like he got it to me from here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, <clears throat> ball on about the 37 for Hawkinsville, first down. Quarterback back to throw, he throws over and finds number 21. And there is, a... Go! Mickens has the ball and it is running the other way with it, folks. And he is down at the 26 yard line, hold the phone. Let's see what the flag is. Let's see what the flag is. Please let it be on them. Boy, this is what we needed. Please. What is it, Gross? Gross, I don't know. All right. We got the ball. First down at the 26-yard line. And we got the break we needed is what Coach Matthews said. I agree with it. All right, folks. It's hammer time. Those flags kept going against us, against us, against us, and finally one went for us. This is the championship, guys, that we got to play. I, uh, wishbone with Coppin at quarterback. Hand off to Jennings. He goes off the right side, and he's got room. He gets it back in, and touchdown, Red Devil! No flags. And hey, we're in business. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me, folks. <laughs> we are in business, ain't we, Coach? We're in business. All right. No flags. We got points on the board, guys. Boy, oh boy. We want an extra point. And Neil, we can see our Red Devil fans like it. Seven's what we need. Then uh, seven more. Because all we need seven, and we get a six, at least 13. 
There is a flag down at the one yard line on the far hash mark. Don't know what that's about. What? You reckon it may be celebration, coach? <laughs> All right, we're about to get a dead ball, un unsportsmanlike against them. So this will give us the ball on the one and one half yard line. And let's see what we do. And Josh is lacing up his shoe. I think we're going to try to. All right, we got the wishbone still playing here, guy. Let's see what happens. Copping the quarterback. Big play, handoff to Mickens, and he is spun around and touch, goes in there for two. So now, the Hawkinsville Red Devils 12, and a penalty again on the play. Hold the phone. They put our points up. Hawkinsville 12, Lincoln County 8, and the Zebras are talking. Woo! I, I can't speak zebra. I can't speak zebra either. Lordy, this is what we needed. Coach Hill, we're going to stay with this ball. Oh. Against Hawkinsville, we're going to be able to kick this ball from about the 45 yard line of Hawkinsville. I think. Women. Neil, I don't. Our viewers can see now. We got buses as far as we can see that brought Lincoln County fans <laughs> here. Uh, uh, we sure do, Bruce. I'm around the corner where I can't see. But what I'm interested in is how they're going to assess this penalty. And they're marking it off against us. Well, that ain't right. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Okay. Now he's going to mark it. Now why in the world did he do that? <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> Looks like one of y'all's plays, Bruce. <laughs> I don't believe we could have rehearsed it Drama. like this. <laughs> I mean, but we are back in business. We, we got these weak hearts, and they start stepping <laughs> stepping off against us. All right, here we go. I know Josh is going to boot this one down to about the two. Kick it hard, kick it hard. And he kicks it high. It comes down about the 20 yard line. Number 42 takes it around the right hand side. He's got a wall. Oh! And he was upended. He was upended by the Red Devils. Cummings and who else was it? Freeman? Looks like Searle's in on that, Neil. They were Lincoln County Red Devils. We playing as a team right now, buddy. Hopefully. All right. First down for Hawkinsville. Six minutes, 39 seconds to go in the third quarter. Shotgun formation. Twins to the left. Wide out to the right. Quarterback back to throw. He's looking. He's looking. He's rolling. And he's got a little slot. And he makes a turn. And we've got a couple of Red Devils down. Win and Long both ran together, and boy, that would have been a that would be a collision. It would it? be, but uh, they're coming back to their feet. Looks like both of them are shaking some. It's a gain of about three yards. All right, need to get somebody out here to cover. Here we go. Okay. From the shotgun again, second and eight. Handoff to five, fake handoff. He's rolling to throw the ball. 
and he's got a man out, out of bounds, out of bounds. No? Incomplete pass, he was out of bounds. Whew. All right, third down and eight. And the Red Devil defense is encouraging the crowd. And we're in a ball game here, folks. Wide outs to both sides, shotgun formation. Ben blitz. Quarterback back to throw, he's looking, looking, and he is, escapes. And he, finally, finally brought down. Flag on the play. And we'll see what they call. I know he had a whole handful of Searles face masks. Not Searles, but Stokes face masks. Back him up. Trying to see what's happening. Face mask. Oh, no. They called it on us. Neil, I don't believe this. All right, it's defense time now. Wide outs to both sides, still in the shotgun. Hand off to number five, he comes around the right side and is out of bounds, maybe a yard gain. Timeout, or clock stops. Five minutes, 15 seconds to go in the third. We cannot let them get in the end zone again. If we can just get the ball back, Bruce. They got twins to the left. Single wide out to the right, still on the shotgun. And a reverse handoff to the number five, and he is brought down. And there's a flag in there. I hope that number 54 had a hand on somebody trying to hold him. We'll see. It's Stephen Brown saying to back him up, so it must be a holding call. And that's a tough, to, well, we'll see. <laughs> you nervous? I'm, 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 I'm a lot little, nervous. I'm, I'm a little nervous, Nick. Because <laughs> this is it, guys. And Josh told him to back them up. So they're going to back them up. It's going to be second down and about 25, 23. So let's have a big defensive play here, guys. They're going to have to stretch it out a little bit. Good time to pick one off. They got trips to the left in the shotgun. And the quarterback's looking, he throws long, and, oh! Flag on the play. Flag, flag on the play. Hold the phone, hold the phone. Roughing the passer. And they have thrown the football on us, folks. And 
And they're lining up for one of those extra points. And no good. So that's going to make the score. Hawkinsville 18. Lincoln County 8. And we keep letting them get that big play. If it wasn't for the big play tonight. If it wasn't for the big play. Well now, Neil, it's time for us to make a big play. And get back in business, as uh, Coach Matthew says. And I don't believe a person in the Red Devil side or Lincoln County side is seated, is it, Bruce? They are all at attention, I believe, then. back, Brown, receive the kick. Hey. It looks like he's lining up for our onside kick. Fair catch call for. On the 32-yard line by Mickens. So the Red Devils will have it first and 10 on 32. And we'll stir the pot, see what happens. Coming out with Coppin at quarterback. Right out to the left, Coppin under center. Hands it off to Searles. Searles goes around the right side for about four or five. off to Searles who goes around the left oh, and he's got some running room and he is gone if they don't catch him he's down to the 25 yard line big play for Searles so we're stirring the pot You got a bad, you got a backache, but uh, I guess I'm making all over there. I'm feeling a little better. Though. All right, first down on the 25. We got plenty of time in this ball game, folks. Plenty of time. We just need to get in that end zone. And up, Andrews up the middle, maybe a yard. Second down and actually they're gonna say we got about a foot out of that. So second down and nearly 10. <laughs> you almost got it cut off. <laughs> hey, 
All right, second down and 10. Toppin still at quarterback, twins to the left. Hands off to Andrews, off that right side, and he drives in there for maybe two, two yards. And that's it. That Hawkinsville defensive line pushes him back. So it's going to be third down. And where's Clark? Wins to the left, Brown and Crike. Copping back, he's rolling to the right, throwing the ball, and it is overthrown. Intended for, I believe, run long. So it's fourth down now, nine. And how bad do we need this? Searles again off the right side. He's got some running room, and he jukes and jives, and first down, first down. Just inside the 15-yard line. Just enough, just enough. And where did Searles come from tonight? We're glad he's here. We are, we are glad, We're glad he's glad here. he came from wherever he came from. First down inside the 15 yard line. There's still life in our Red Devils. Twins to the left. Coppin still at quarterback. Searles and Andrews behind him. And he pitches to Searles again, who goes off that same side again and for maybe a yard. Out of bounds, that'll stop the clock. Actually, the clock's running. I thought he was out of bounds. Jennings into the ball game now. Second down in uh, about 11. Wide out uh, to the left with Clark and Brown. Coppin takes it an option play and he goes off the left side for about four, five, six yards. He'll bring up second down. Third down and about two or three. And the time is running down in this third quarter. 17 seconds. We need to, I'd like to get another playoff here. Get it off. There you go. Hand off to Mickens. He turns and goes nowhere. That was our third down play, too, folks. It's going to be fourth down and three. And at the end of the third quarter, Hawkinsville 18, Lincoln County 8, but we're threatening. We're knocking on the door, Neil. We only got one hand to knock right now, though. We need two yards for a first down or three yards for a first down. Go, 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 go. 
And I don't know if Clark is injured or if he's just not in there right now. After 14 games and three quarters, it all comes down to this. 12 more minutes of football in this 2003 season. We got to get 11 points. Ball is on the six yard line. We need three yards, a good three yards for a first down. We need six yards for a touchdown. Twins to the left. Coppin takes the ball, hands it to. And fumble on the play. And it was going to go over on downs anyway. Hawkinsville has stopped us inside their 10 yard line. Big play time for the Red Devils. No time to stop now. Hand off to number five. He goes up off the right side, gains about six, seven yards. Finally brought down. Gonna be second down. And about three. off to number five he breaks it out to the side and breaks the tackle he's hit and brought down by Josh Beard at the 30 first down Hawkinsville timeout uh, clock stops about tired of hearing that, Bruce Bay. <laughs> well, I'd like for it to be first down Lincoln County Red Devils, but it ain't over. It ain't we over. got some time here. We can make a play here. Number five up the middle. We better make one quick. And he is finally brought down at midfield. like we've got a Red Devil player slow getting up, Neil. It's like win, and we don't need to lose him <clears throat> for sure. Neil, I just uh, wonder what our friends Bruce Turner and Doug Newman are saying. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure they're not happy either. Ten minutes and 43 seconds to go in this football game. Oh, 
First and 10 inside the 50. In Red Devil in Lincoln County territory. And win off the field with some, some assistance. off to number five. He breaks it off the right side for about four. Second down and about Five and a half. And off to number five again. Breaks the tackle. Caught now Go by down. number 25. Nichols. Along with guess who? Number 27. Coming. I thought you were asking not to say that anymore, Neil. I think I did. off to number 31 in there that time. Gain of about two. Second down and a long seven. Ball on him over the 36 and a half yard line. And off to number 42, breaks it out to the left hand side and is finally brought down inside the 20. against Hawkinsville, and that's going to back it up. Maybe that's what we need. That's going to back them up. It's going to make it second down and about 16 for a first down. We got eight minutes and 51 seconds to go in this ball game. We can get a big play here. If we can get a big play here, Movement on the line, it looked to me like, but handoff up the middle and he didn't go anywhere. Looked to me like it was a movement there. Actually, he's gonna lose about a foot or so. Be third down and 16. And boy, they're running this clock now for all they can get. Red Devils only have one timeout. We had to use two of them in the first two minutes of this half. Quarterback handoff to that big number 42 and he rolls in there for about six yards. It's gonna bring up fourth down and about 10. And we'll see what they do. Boy, if we could get one of those high snaps now. Stokes is back on about the 15 and almost blocked by Searles. 
and off the side of his foot again. Uh, it's going to go out of bounds about to 25, so we'll have it first down at about the 25. Coppin still in at quarterback. Coppin from the shotgun. Back to throw. He's being chased by number 42. And it is caught by Chris Crite. And he breaks it loose. Has a little running room if he can cut it upfield. And danced around if he had just fallen forward. It would have been a first down. It's going to be second and about two. Seven minutes to go in this ball game. All right, let's hurry it up, guys. Cop and hand it off to and fumble and Ball was handed off to Andrews and dropped. Coppin went down to pick it up and picked it up with a knee on the ground and they blew the whistle. Third down and three. Pitch to Searles, who works off the left-hand side, and is tackled after about a yard. It's crunch time now, five minutes and 39 seconds to go. Fourth down and five. Did, did you say fourth down and five? Fourth down and five. That's our last time out of the ball game. And we probably need a couple more, but we don't have them. in front of him and he goes out for first down. First down on about the 36. Four minutes and 50 seconds left to go. First down, Red Devils.
shotgun. Dropping back. He throws the ball over the middle and a bunch of receivers. And it is almost, almost caught by Brown. So it'll be second and 10. Clock will stop with 420. Green to drum long. Goes nowhere. Third down. Okay, third down and 11 for the Devils. Dropping shotgun this time. He's back to throw, looking. Gets it aired out down the middle for Brown, and it is intercepted by number 12. And Hawkinsville will take over. At the 39-yard line, their own 39-yard line. Up the middle, or about eight. And off to five, up the middle again. He rolls for first down. And off to number five, he goes nowhere that time, brought down by Beard and Andrews. <laughs> Clock's running with a minute and 50 seconds, and they ain't in no hurry, folks. And off to number five up the middle again, and he rolls for about eight. Clock still runs. 122, 121. 
Yeah, Bruce, it looks like the Lincoln County Red Devils are gonna come up one short. But absolutely a great, great, great football right. season. Right, now, yeah, great football. They've played really well all season long. But that don't make us like this a bit better. No, it doesn't make us like it any better, but but uh, we're still very proud of our team and the fine job they've done this season. And you know, Hawkinsville has not been a champion since 1959. That goes back a ways. That, that's uh, a while back now. But less than a minute to go in the game now and they're not in a hurry. Hand off the five again, he goes up the middle again. And all we can do now is congratulate the Hawkinsville Red Devils on a fine undefeated season. And congratulate the, our Lincoln County Red Devils on being the state runner up this year. And Neil, as you said, they have, uh, have done a fine job, played well all season long. Just coming up a little short tonight. And more than likely, folks, this will be the last play of the game. And he hits and a knee. He'll take a knee and that'll do it, Neil. And I see the Red Devils embracing each other and congratulating each other. And, you know, there they go. And I really don't have a lot to say right now, Bruce. Well, we do see the coaches exchanging congratulations and a, a good ball game by both teams, Neil. Uh, and we have, uh, Neil and I have certainly enjoyed bringing you this uh, exciting football action all season long. We look forward to next year. So, Neil, if you don't have anything else to say, I'm going to wrap it up for us. Until next season, this is Bruce Beggs for Neil Reed saying, Go Devils.